Okay, now I'm going to hide this as well. And I'm going to bring back, actually, display show all. So I'm going to select these two. Go to the top view. And um, so this is actually the sidewalk that we had before. And I'm going to select these and put them in a layer template that. So let's say I have a we can always find like a pattern and um, I'm just going to do a quick, we don't want to waste too much time, I'm just going to do like a quick uh, brick pattern. I want to fit this, so I'm going to me mesh combine. Uh, modify center pivot so I want to fit it in here so I'm gonna just like start with this and move this to there something like that let's do um, uh, duplicate that Get rid of these. Okay. Bring all this. At some point, I'm going to have to rotate. The pattern so maybe from here I will have to figure out some way to rotate it so. so maybe this one will be like that So for this one here, um, so here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that, move it over here. And what I'm going to do is select these two, combine, center pivot. Okay, so now you see that they're overlapping here. I mean, what I could do, I mean, it's also like nice to kind of figure out where to do it, maybe just give some space like that. Just go to the uh, modeling toolkit, get the multi-cut tool, and let's cut this first from here all the way to here. And then get the faces. Um, not these. Uh, not that one. Delete them. Now I use the multi cut tool again and cut from here to here. Grab the faces. Get rid of them. Um, multi cut. all the way to uh, here and select the faces I'm going to use the lasso selection tool you 
can also use the brush tool, you know, the brush selection tool. You can actually select faces with that. So now I have this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut more. So that's how I do. That's how you would do it. I mean, it's it's just a simple technique. You cut here, you cut there, and then you select faces. So faces. You can use the um, again this brush tool. With a control key, you can deselect the ones you don't need. Okay, so let me stop here. Um, actually, let me just do one more thing. Let me clean this up. So I'm going to select all these other ones all the way to here and combine center the pivot point and then uh, do a multi-cut uh, all the way here and one over here Okay, so now I'm going to go to the perspective view, select these two, move them up. Um, let's get this guy. So it's like, there's one that is sticking out. I'm going to go to the top view. There's one that there's a problem with. Here, I, didn't, I, sh I should cut this too. So I'm going to go to the multi cut tool again. And just cut this guy here. Get the face and delete. So that's. I'm going to make these. I'm going to combine these two and extrude them. Extrude these. What I like to do, this is another trick. Because I don't want to have faces underneath, it's like a, a, lo a waste of space. I want to delete these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select that and flip it. So that way it was easier to select the faces as I'm extruding and deleting them. So I'm going to select all this, modify, center, pivot. Um, and flip it on the, on the, the Y, minus 1. So now I have this. And then underneath, I don't have anything. See, it's like it's all blank. So that's the best way to do that. Um, so now I have all this brick pattern. Um, and this is uh, the sidewalk. I'm just going to lay it there. Let's go display show all. And let me hide these. And let me hide the other design as well, so you can see that the weight curves. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So the last thing I want to show, let me just pause that video.